Hello ladies and gents. Today we're talking about the movie Splinter. Excuse my temporary surroundings. Apparently they're getting a lot tougher on people sneaking into movie theaters these days. She looks not right. Well, what do you want to do? Turn it off. Get in the car. When I heard that the title of the movie was Splinter, the first thing that came to mind was someone getting a splinter in the finger. Silly me. Vincent! Christian, let me ask you something. When was the last time a couple went camping in the woods in a movie and it worked out well for everybody? Whenever white people go camping in the movie, it's never gonna turn out good, all right? Somebody ain't coming back home. You should always go camping with a spare black guy as a safety buffer. He's gonna be the first to die. The trick is finding a black person that doesn't already know that. Get in your car! There's something out there! kind of a twist on the whole vampire movie genre because you have this creature and if you even touch it or if it bites you or it stings you right. then guess what you slowly get infected watch the splinter don't want to stick you the nerd who gets stoned all the time from road trip and the chick from the mercury commercials are the leads in this movie jill wagner Woo! now that's a fine piece of woman right there <laughs> i love to have some conjugal visits with her let me tell you something when i get out of prison she's gonna have my baby whether she wants to or not. It's gonna get a new baby. She is terrible in this film. She, her reactions are awful. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh. I didn't mind Miss Wagner's acting. I go back to the fact that she was dating a nerd. I believed more that Obama and Sarah Palin could be a couple more than I could believe that these two could be a couple. I think I'm gonna like camping. Pablo was excellent. I mean, they all were, but Pablo, man, he had me believing that he was this soft little punk. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if he was in here, he'd be tossing more salads than Chef Boyardee and would be passed around quicker than an STD. Mm. You okay? Don't touch it! The movie also stars Shea Wingham. Was it Shy Wingham? Shea Wickham? Shy Wickham? Why can't you just have a normal white boy named like Bob? He's the only one worth mentioning as in acting at all. See, I thought he was good, and he's kind of one of these guys where if you go to the actor store and you're like, hi, I'd like to buy Vigo Mortensen, they're like, ooh, uh, it's out of your price range. <laughs> Fine, I'll take the guy with the hand in the movie. Move away from the glass. The creature effects were kind of cool. The spiky things growing out of the, you know, the orifice and, and the, kinda the cool. zombies kind of moving. That was kind of cool. So, you got your people camping, you got your crazy crook that may or may not be killing people, and then you have the surprise element. Is it a killer animal, an alien, or is it somebody who just doesn't like white people? Because that's all that seems to be dying in this movie. That's all that's in the movie. Let me tell you something, directors, producers, people of color can die horrible deaths too, damn it. Anyway, if you're looking for blood, you'll get it. If you're looking for violence, you'll get it. If you're looking for your wife at 2 o'clock in the morning every Wednesday, go to your neighbor's house. I wanted out. The movie was an hour and 15 minutes. It felt like an hour and 14 minutes too long. I thought the acting was good, the special effects were okay, but I wouldn't break out of prison to see it. Personally, myself, I'd watch it on DVD if I didn't have anything good on TiVo to watch. 